hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i want to talk about bathing or lack of bathing long story short i ended up giving miruku an oat soak because his little belly was irritated from his ultrasound and i didn't know if it was a clipper burn or like contact dermatitis or something like that later i found out it was a clipper burn but in this video you will see how i bathe him i just quickly wanted to discuss how ferrets do not need baths because they all of like the shampoos that you see in the market will, I mean, just ba over bathing anyway, will strip them of their natural oils and make them itchy and just irritate their skin. And it's just generally not good for them and not needed. So that is just one reason why you don't need to bathe your ferret. Honestly, like I've seen stuff on the internet, like three to six months, every six months, like I bathe these guys maybe once a year. And if that, not even really though, probably like just whenever they need it. And I always make sure to use oats in a sock rather than, and just let them wade in the water rather than using any of these like stupid shampoos. So yeah, with that being said, I hope that this video teaches you something. All right, enjoy. So this is Miruku's little tummy currently. Um, I talked to my local vet and then I also called the vet that did his um, ultrasound. And they said that it is most likely a clipper burn from the clippers but it could also be, since they spray like alcohol on it afterwards, it could also be just an irritation from that. Or it could also be some type of like contact dermatitis with whatever they put on him after because it only started after the ultrasound. So it could be, or even like an allergy of some sort. My vet said like if there's a million things. Um, most likely I'm thinking that it is a clipper burn because as you can see, it like opened kind of and it's like wet i know that sounds disgusting but you know how like if you get a blister or you burn yourself and it blisters then it's wet so i'm kind of not happy about that uh but i'm gonna give him an oat soak because using oats is very soothing on the skin and if he's itchy or if it's just irritating him in any way i want to make him comfortable so and also they his fur him and uh toggy's fur has always smelled quite ripe because they were fed cheap cat food for a really long time and have never probably been bathed ever but I'm not an advocate for bathing your ferrets at all unless you need them but I figured I would just give them an oat soak and then be done with it for until the next time that they need it um so yeah but I just feel so bad for this little guy like what else can he be through like look at this this it's so it's so ridiculous um I, like ugh, I can't okay so here we are getting Minuku ready for his oat soak. Ellie and Mia really wanted to be in this video, so they're the ones that are going to put the oats in the sock for me. So normally you want to just do a little bit warmer than warm water because ferrets have really thick skin, but in this case I didn't make it too hot just in case it was a burn because I obviously didn't want to irritate him anymore. So you just pour some oats into a sock, tie the sock up, put little Minuku in the water, and then you just put the sock in the water with him and you kind of just like squeeze it until it makes kind of like a an oat water, I guess. And then I'll just let them soak in this water for about five minutes or until he gets sick of it. Now we have a fresh and soothed little Miruku. I also decided to give Narnar a little booty soak just because sometimes he gets poop stuck on his butt and his little belly. So I just put him in some warm water. Um, I don't use any soaps obviously or any oats, but you'll see the oat sock is back in because Ellie decided to put it in. But normally I don't do anything. I just let him soak his little booty in some warm water and it just cleans his little butt naturally.
once he's dried or almost fully dried, I'll just bring him back in the basement and he will just <laughs> lick himself dry. Um, just for some added cuteness, here you go. We decided to bring the toggy <laughs> beans outside for some playtime. You can make it. Look at him hopping. I know, he's so excited. So this is Miruku's little tummy the next day. I'm pretty much 100% positive that it is a clipper burn. So I've just been putting some Neosporin on it and it seems to be helping. So long as he doesn't lick it off, Neosporin will help in the healing process and just making sure that he doesn't get any infections. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that little bath time video. I hope that you learned something. I hope the most important thing that you learned was that you don't need to bathe your ferrets very often at all. And I hope that you threw out all of your little poopy shampoos that you use on them. Okay, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.